grout, grout. It's time to grout, grout, grout. You like crowding so much now, huh? I don't, but <laughs> no, I actually so excited. <laughs> the floor is going to be grouted today. Now that the floor is all grouted in, we just, uh, well you see it's actually kind of chilly today, so the box tells us that it requires an hour after application to come back and wash it out. When it was really hot up here, it only took like 20 minutes before it was so dry that we were racing to get it off, but I think today is going to be a bit slower. It's like, it's like 63 degrees outside right now, so we went from 100 to 63, it's a serious difference. Wow, yeah. How do you like the way the grout turned out on the ground? It looks good. I'm happy with it. Are you okay for waiting for 40 minutes while we let it cure? Yes. I'm just worried about the sides. Like everyone's been saying to cork the sides of whatever the tile's been hitting, like the plywood and I don't know. I, so I'm stressing out a bit that it's not, it's, that something's going to go wrong. Put all this time and effort into it and it might just crumble and fall. Now, there's been some talk about my 12 volt wiring system because these are probably like 22 gauge wires that ch run down underneath the system and to my fuse block here. That is the red wire you just saw and that's the black wire. Now the feedback on the internet has been that these wires are too small and I completely concur actually. I uh, was just had them on for temporary and now that we've got so much direct current stuff linked up I realize it's time to make it better. And actually I've already bought the wire, I just haven't taken the time. The one 25 amp fuse block. That will work excellent with this wire. I'll use wire connectors like this for 4 AWG wire. I'll have four of these for this battery terminal, one for this battery terminal, one for the positive terminal on the fuse block, and one for the negative terminal on the fuse block. Because I got so many comments online about how that wire was too thin, I've decided I'm going to do that today. I was going to put it off, but I guess I might as well do it now. Okay, so now that my 12 volt liars are prepared, I need to add a fuse link in between. When adding a fuse, I've read numerous times that you want to have the fusible link as close to the batteries as possible, so I'm putting the batteries here. I've got the wire set up here, and uh, this is where I can mark it. I've marked a little line right here so that I can cut it there, and this piece should be able to go to there, and then I'll run the hot part of the wire to there, to the fuse block, and then when I'm ready to start the process, I'll just insert the fuse and that will uh, connect the fuse block to the batteries.
finally found the solution to this, but it's better to know the problem first. See, I've already run these wires, right? But I don't, I didn't mark which one's red and which one's black before I ran them. They're both here. And at the same time, I've also hooked this wire up to here. And so I know I want this to be the hot. This is the other wire. And I know I want it to be the negative black. So I want this to be the negative wire. And I, I don't know whether this one or this one is a negative wire. So I take the multimeter and I switch the multimeter to that position right there. The idea is that if the red and the black touch, it makes a noise. And so what I want to do now is I want to make sure that this is the black. And I want to know whether I should make this the black or this the black. So if I touch these, you can tell that they're not connected, which means that they're not the same line. And now when I touch this one, you can hear it. That means that they have continuity, which means that this is the wire that I want to hook up to the negative terminal of the fuse block. And this is the t uh, cable that I want to hook up to the negative end of the battery terminal. That is how to test continuity, I think. <laughs> So we've got our wires hooked up. Our hot is broken by the fuse. You can see the fusible link is still here. This goes to the positive terminal of the fuse block. And then this is gonna be our first guy that we get to go hot. Our black side, I've isolated over here behind the drill until we get the hot together. But once I take the hot, the hot, the screw off the hot and I put this hot guy on, I'll attach the negative and then we'll insert the fusible link. I forgot to uh, take the fuse out of the solar system. Hey babe. What are you doing? I'm being very focused and trying to get this battery on. Oh, I need you to help me with... Sorry everyone. V came outside and completely disrupted my process. And I lost, uh, I didn't, I forgot to turn the camera back on because I had to stop it in order to get her. Here's how it turned out. As you can see, this will run to the fuse block. This is the solar panel. Um, red. This is the red that connects this battery to the other four batteries. And then this is the red to the inverter. I've got it all anchored down now. Next I'll finish with the negative terminal. And then I'll insert the fuse for the fuse block. And then I'll insert the fuse for the solar panel. So that's it, the solar panel system is back on. I put some 12 volt lights in the bathroom to surprise V when she comes out here next. And all our other 12 volt light systems should work perfectly. And we're using four American wire gauge to connect the batteries to the fuse block. Thank you everyone who uh, suggested that, uh, the YouTube comments, it made it very clear that that should be put to the top of my priorities list and now it's done. Hey YouTube, V's got something to show you. I finished the bathroom. <laughs> I finished grouting last night at 2 a.m. No, was it the night before? Oh my God, I can't, I don't, I've lost all track of time. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anywho, <laughs> oh, this morning at about 9 a.m. we grouted and it didn't take us long at all. It was actually at 10 o'clock. And it took us about half an hour, 40 minutes, to grout the entire floor. Then we waited, I don't know, four hours or something. We waited a little bit longer. Actually, it was probably more of four, six, four or five. And then we came and wiped all the tiles down. And then I waited another few hours and we just scrubbed all the tiles. And it looks pretty good. We just scraped off the excess. The floor looks really good. I'm actually very happy with the floor. I learned a lot. <laughs> it's 
So the floor was actually way easier than all the walls. But I'm coming back to go over all the walls and clean them all up tomorrow because obviously this one has to be cleaned up. And that one and that one, it will be done tomorrow. The bathroom mosaic project will be done tomorrow. So excited. So happy not to be working in this space anymore. <laughs> I can't wait. I need a massage. Well, hey, that's thanks it. Thanks for helping with the grout as well. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you all very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the movies. Leave a comment below if you think that we did something that is reprehensible. <laughs> There's still more bathroom projects coming. Oh, yeah, there Toilet, are. Toilet, shower. No more mosaic. Tomorrow after tomorrow. Yay! Sorry, I don't mean to bust the bubble, but...